aggravation. It, it, it's crazy. I want them to work with us. Well, that Carlsbad homeowner said that she had to jump through hoops to replace her grass with this drought resistant landscaping and her HOA fought her every step of the way. 10 News reporter Preston Phillips is in Carlsbad with what a local lawmaker says that homeowners should do if that happens to them. This is what Tracy Buck's yard looked like about a year ago, nice and green. Then she let it die. This is a picture of it here. And then after thousands of dollars and a seven month fight with her HOA, she finally got the water saving yard she wanted. Aggravation. It, it, it's crazy. I want them to work with us. Tracy Buck is upset because of the process she had to go through to turn her yard from this to this. She let her yard die because she felt bad watering it. The process began with a $250 HOA fee and amounted to more than $10,000 and a months long hard fought fight with her homeowners association. It's very adversarial. They don't want to work with you. It's their way. This is the way they've described it. This is the way it's got to look. Buck says her neighbors want to follow in her footsteps, but don't want to spend months fighting the HOA. Well, they'll sneak it in. That's what they'll do. State Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez, though, says sneaking isn't necessary. And as of September 18th, 2014, neither is permission after the governor signed AB 2104, the Davis Sterling Act, into law. She says if you run into any problems, call her. I would actually encourage homeowners to go ahead and do it. The HOA has no legal standing to find them or to, um, to hold them in contempt of any way. I want my $250 back. <laughs> And I did reach out to Buck's HOA, AVR a Master Association, but after two different phone conversations, I was told there'd be no one who would be able to comment. For now, we're reporting from Carlsbad, Preston Phillips, 10 News. And her yard looks great.